Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a physics 7C practice problem on the topic of magnetic uh, fields and forces. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we are gonna be working on today. So we basically, for uh, the first part, we have four scenarios and uh, we have the depicted directions and magnitudes of the magnetic field and the velocity of the charge. The magnitudes of the charges are the same in all the cases, but in scenario one and three, the charge is positive whereas in scenarios two and four, it's negative. Basically, what we have to do is rank the magnitudes from the smallest to the largest one of the magnetic forces. And also for each scenario, if there is a magnetic force, we do have to figure out the direction of a set force on, a, on each scenario. So as you can see, I have my four scenarios over here. So I did leave uh, part B uh, we're gonna get to it in a second, but we're just gonna do this first. So basically, this is a somewhat easy problem because we don't have wires or magnets or whatever. This problem is already straight up telling us the direction of uh, the magnetic field and the velocity. So all we have to do is use our right hand rule a bunch of times. And that way we're gonna figure out our magnitudes and our, well, our magnitudes we're gonna figure out using the equation. And then the direction we're gonna figure out by using a right hand rule. So let's get started. So for our first scenario, this one over here, our charge is positive and it's moving into the page. So B is moving into the page magnetic field is going up and my charge is positive so that means that if I use my right hand rule if I use my right hand rule then this would mean that this is going to the left if you want to know how to use your right hand rule I really recommend you going through your DL notes we do have several ways of doing it. I think that the 7C version uses three fingers. I don't really use that one. Uh, but this is something that you would just have to go ahead and go to the L to learn. But if you do this, you're gonna get left. And then uh, this is positive. So basically your answer is gonna stay left. F is going to the left and then the magnitude is just going to be um, Q times V times 2V sine of these two arrows have 90 degrees with each other and sine of 90 is equal to 1 so my magnitude is gonna be 2QBB going left. Newtons. Final answer. So now let's just go ahead and do the exact same thing for part B. So for part B, we do run into a problem because what do we have here? We cannot use our right hand rule. If you try to use your right hand rule, uh, nothing's gonna come out of it. And the reason is because V is going on one direction and then magnetic field is going in the opposite. This means that they are parallel, which in math means 180 degrees sine of 180 degrees is equal to zero, which means that F is equal to zero. This is a multiplication of four things. If just one of them is equal to zero, then everything multiplies to zero. That means that we don't have a magnetic force. And because of that, if you were to actually try to use your fingers to figure out the direction, you just wouldn't be able to. Um, and this is the reason. So now for part three, let's see. 
So for part three, we do have uh, our vectors over here. So we do have our velocity that is going this way. We have V, which is going up, and our charge is positive. So if I use my right hand rule over here, then my right hand rule is gonna give me a force that is out of the page. If I use my right hand rule, it's gonna be, or your fingers, whatever, I do this, but just use whatever you want. It's gonna be out of the page. And then if you consider the charge, this charge is positive, so you don't have to flip your answer and your final answer is gonna be out. And in terms of magnitude, well, we just have to substitute the number. So F, um, so what do we have? We have Q, 2V, V, and then sine of the angle, which is 30 degrees. Um, sine of 30 degrees is equal to one half. So F, is two divided by two, so it's just Q, V, V, because these two cancels out with this one half, um, going out of the page, Newton's final answer. And now let's just go ahead and do, um, uh, let's choose two numbers. This is force one, two, scenario three, and this scenario four. So for scenario four, uh, we just do the same thing. So if you start with B and B is going this direction. Magnetic field is going up and then you have a charge that is negative. So if you use your right hand rule over here, then you're going to get an answer that is out of the page out but if you consider that this charge is negative then your final answer is into the page again you have to first use your right hand rule and then whatever you got you have to look at the charge and if it's negative then you have to adjust your answer because this is a multiplication and then this thing basically flips the, the sign of the direction right like what's negative out well negative out is in right so like negative up is it's just down so final answer is into the page and then magnitude is just uh, so we have q b is just v uh magnetic field is v and then this is sine of 90 degrees because this is just 90 degrees so F, final answer, F4, is just QVV into the page, Newton's final answer. And now we were asked to rank them from smallest to largest. So the smallest in, oh, they're, they're magnitudes. So the smallest magnitude is going to be zero. And then we are gonna have these two equal to each other. And then we're gonna have this one as the greatest one. Oh, well, I, sh I should just do magnitudes because that's what they wanted, right? So the magnitude of these vectors and then this is my final answer for part A. These directions are my final answer for part B. And now we're gonna move on and do uh, the second part of this quiz. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show it on screen. So we have on another scenario, a negative charge is moving inside a wire with the current flowing counterclockwise as shown here. A large magnet is also present with the south pole facing the wire find the direction of the magnetic force on the charge. So as you can see, I have my drawing over here. This charge is negative, and we have two things that are producing a magnetic field. So they are asking us to find the direction of the magnetic force on the charge. 
but what they do mean is find the direction of the net force, right? And in this case, the direction of the net force is a combination of two things because we don't just have a wire and we don't just have a magnet. We have both of them. So, so we have to add the force due to the wire plus due to the magnet. So basically what we have to do is analyze them separately and then just add them up and then whatever we get as a result of the addition in terms of direction, that's the only thing that they want, is our final answer. So let's just start with the force due to the wire. So the force due to the wire, um, our velocity is going into the page because it's over here. And if we do our right hand rule to figure out the direction of the magnetic field due to the wire, again, we're just doing wire. So if you use your right hand rule, you're going to see that regardless of how you use your right hand rule, like if you want to do it from here to here, then you would just get out of page. If you want to do it from over here, then you would get out of page. So it doesn't matter where you put your hand here and where you twirl the result from your twirling is going to be out of the page. So because these two, oh, and then your charge is negative, right? So because these two are parallel, the force due to the wire is equal to zero. So the force due to the wire is equal to zero because we have uh, both the velocity of the charge and the magnetic field going in the same direction. This means that your angle is equal to zero, sine of zero is equal to zero, and if you apply your equation, your force is equal to zero. So whatever force this thing is feeling, if any, I mean, we might just not have any, it's going to be due to the magnet. Now let's do the magnet. So for the magnet, again, you always want to do, for your magnetic field lines, you always want to start north and go towards south. So you always want to go north, go south. Now in this case, our velocity of the charge is going to be the same because it's the same charge. But now our magnetic field at this point, which is like straight up from the South Pole, is going to be going down. It's going to be going down. Now, what happens if the charge is over here? Well, it would also be down. What happens if the magnet is flipped? It would be up. So you always want to draw your magnetic field lines, but in this case, just a simple drawing demonstrates that uh, this has to be going straight down. And then your charge is negative. So if you do your right hand rule over here, right, so this, um, so if you use your right hand rule, V twirl towards V, uh, so this would be right. But then this charge is negative, so this is a tricky part because this charge is negative. So then, final answer due to the magnet is left. And then, because this is the only force, then the net force has to be going left because they are equal to each other if this is a zero. So my final answer is that the net magnetic force that this charge is experiencing has a final a direction of going left. And that's the only thing they wanted. They didn't want a magnitude, so we don't have to bother ourselves with that. But final answer would be left. This is very important. You do have to know how to use your right hand rule, but then you always, always have to consider the charge. And again, what is the negative of right? Well, the negative of right will be left. So there you have it. Um, so anyways, I hope that you guys found this useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps our channel. 
and I will see you guys on the next video.